Sage for Sagan here, and today we're looking at some Final Faction stuff. This is not my next review of a human figure. I definitely will have a review out soon for another one of the Alpha team. I wanted to talk about the future of uh, this line of figures. You know, basically, um, Final Faction uh, has come into our lives very quickly. They're putting out a lot of media, and I already kind of showed off this picture I'm about to show where... It showed line figure two, series two, but there's only four figures shown here. And one thing I want to talk about is one of the characters that was on their Instagram recently, which was not on my previous video, and that is Scope. In the cartoon, Scope is Shift's brother, and uh, they have a whole bio on Instagram if you want to know more about Scope. But as you can, you know, basically... Uh, you know, having looked at the figures, it's leading me to think about how are they going to do future figures based on the artwork they've released. So, uh, you know, looking over, you know, the figures here, you can see Scope has a sniper rifle, um, but it's kind of like floating beside him. I think this is going to be another situation like uh, our heavy weapons expert, where he, his weapon actually pegs into his back on some sort of mechanism so that he can actually, uh, you know, ha not have it strapped straight to his back, but with some sort of uh, articulation or, or some sort of, you know, technology there. So that's interesting in and of itself, and his armor looks cool. Now, Churro, you can see here in this picture, he has the wings from the other mech suit, uh, you know, assault, air assault pack on his back. So that looks like that's a reuse of those parts. I wouldn't be surprised if Churro didn't come with the little dog and the robot maybe, and that's it. Because this other picture shows, instead of the wings pegged in, it has those same guns from the air assault pack pegged in. It's smart to reuse these parts, and there would be this is a reason you need to probably buy up some extra air assault packs now. You know, in case you have trouble finding them later once you do get Churro, you need to have enough for all your mechs. Now, also on the Instagram, they have uh, new figure, new characters that are just silhouetted, and this is a, of course, uh, you know, a Karn, uh, you know, bounty hunter that's being sent uh, after another figure we're going to look at later. Uh, apparently, he's kind of like the Boba Fett of the Karn, so it'll be interesting to see what all he has, what those weapons are. Uh, it looks very interesting silhouetted that way. Now, Riptide is going to be another Alpha team member, and it looks like he's uh, he's some sort of diver. Um, he's got some sort of mast head, which I'm really excited about, especially for custom potential. I'm wondering, if is it going to be removable? Is it going to be just the sculpted on him on helmet? Either way, I think it's going to be cool. And, of course, it looks like he has pegged on some sort of weapon or something to use underwater uh, on his forearms. You can see there. Look, maybe harpoons or something. Now, this guy was really shifty in the cartoon. He's obviously an alien, but he's the one that um, the, the former bounty hunter we were just looking at was being sent after. But what I really think is interesting about this figure is his arms weapon, the sword arm weapon he has, is pegged into his forearms. And we've seen on some of the human figures there are peg holes where you could put that into other figures. So it'll be interesting to see how that's reused. Now, of course, this has all been speculation, and uh, as a reminder, I will be putting out a review up for another human figure soon. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and remind everybody it is the season of giving, so let's go ahead and be sure that we are uh, donating to local toy drives or coat drives or glove drives or something to help the children. Um, even if you don't celebrate Christmas in your area, it doesn't hurt to do something good for somebody else every once in a while. Uh, so keep up that as an idea. And, of course, we will keep making videos um, and trying to see what we can figure out about this Final Faction line. It's interesting. I love that they are making toys that are cheap, uh, that can be, uh, you know, fun, too. It's not just that they're a budget line. They have a great thought process gone into their toy line. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and pour on the plastic.